Okay, right now I'm going to turn everything on and just show you how things work and then I'm going to zoom in onto the controller and show you um, what bun buttons I press and stuff after. So I'm going to power it on right now. Uh, it's going to be a bit bright for the camera. And then I'm going to press mode button. Um, all colors are on right now. The camera isn't really capturing it, but the blues, purples, and whites, and greens are on. Um, by cycling through the channels, I can control each channel separately. So by pressing the mode button once, here I have only the greens and the purples. I can control the brightness of them. By, plus, by pressing plus and minus, I can control the brightness. Here it's a, its lowest setting, and then the more I press, the more bright it will get. So I'm going to go ahead and make it the brightest. There we go. Now I know that the brightness of the purple and green are at the brightest setting. Then I can cycle through the other setting, which are the white LEDs. Um, the same thing I can do here is by lowering and um, incre by lowering the uh, light intensity of the light by pressing the negative button all the way till I go down till the end, and then there we go. This is the lowest setting right there. Um, I can also make it the highest setting by doing that. Um, then I can cycle to the blue setting. And the same thing is by pressing all the way down, I can cycle through the uh, brightness intensity. And this is the lowest setting right there. And then I can go to the highest. And that's the, exactly the way it is. Now uh, I'm going to zoom in and show you exactly the way I... Um, the buttons that I press to do this. I had to go um, into the user manual a couple times to figure this out but this video is just to show you how easy it is to do this. Once you have everything set up um, you want to go ahead and press the power on button. This way everything comes on. Um, let's do this again. I'm gonna go ahead and power on and then everything comes on, the whole light fixture comes on. If you press mode button once, um, your first um, channel will come on. And my first channel here is set up on the green and purples. Um, that will come on. If I press mode button again, um, the whites will come on, which is my second channel. You can also increase and decrease the, the brightness of each channel. And just by pressing positive and negative. Um, now if you press all the way to the top of the positive and reach the end and press it again, it will go back to the first setting, which is the lowest setting. So by pr if I'm at the highest setting like I am right now, as you can see, and I press positive once more, it will take me back to the lowest setting th that it has. So I want to go ahead and make it bright, as bright as possible for now. And then by pressing the button once again, it will take me to the third channel, which I have is on blues. And then that's pretty much it right there. I press again, and all the colors come on. Now by pressing the D1, D2, D3, gives you different settings for daylight. That this controls the different timings it has for the sunlight, sunrise and sunset control. Um, the first setting I think is 15 minutes sunrise sunset. So it comes on lower intensity for 15 minutes and complete full sunlight intensity for the rest of um, the cycle. And then at the last 15 minutes of the cycle it shuts off. The second one I think is 30 minutes and then 45 minutes. I'm not too sure about the details um, of the exact timing of this, but I will leave the, uh, the, uh, the detailed instructions in the bottom and a link to the controller um, user manual as well. Now you can control the, the full intensity of these lights um, by going into the ma manual mode here and controlling the intensity. Once you set up the intensities once, it will remember it even if you cycle off. So if you want to set this on a timer, all you have to do is t uh, put the DC jack on a timer and the rest will take care of itself and remember the settings 
the way it did the last time you said it. So all you would have to do is time the DC power jack, regardless of all the controllers that you might have, and it will control everything for you every time it t turns on. So once the power goes off, it will go back to its original settings where you set them, and um, you have nothing to worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my lights over and show you a full overview of the whole canopy. And then um, I'll show you the different the intensities of light that it has. Alright, this is the canopy that I made um, with the LED fixture sitting on top of it. It is almost complete. Um, all I have to do is set it up on the aquarium and um, just wire up the moonlights, which is nothing crazy really. Um, all the hard work is pretty much done. Um, wanted to show you guys what I've done here. Um, I can go ahead and open up the front panel here to have access to the tank without moving around the LEDs so I won't change the photo period or anything like that on the fish tank while I'm working. Um, wanted to show you how intense these lights actually are. I'm gonna go ahead and power down the light fixture and show you how crazy it gets underneath there the light gets really really bright once I power it on. It's pretty crazy. This is at full brightness right now. If I do lower the brightness to the lowest setting on all my channels, you could see um, the difference in color right there. Um, this is the what it looks like at minimum brightness and right here is at full brightness. There you go, full brightness, everything is really, really bright. I wouldn't really recommend you doing uh, full brightness on your tank once you install these because the corals will get bleached. So what I'm going to do is going to start at um, a similar brightness as the one I have with my T5s right now. I think it's going to be around 30 or 40% brightness and then start increasing them once a week um, to a uh, little bit more brightness so the corals can get adjusted and acclimated to the difference in light intensity. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this right now and show you the install of my optics on the LEDs. Just show you the different locations that I'm gonna have um, for these to have good spread and um, light penetration. Okay, I'm back and I wanna show you the different optics that I have for these. I have the 40 degree optics, I have the 65 degree optics, and I have the 80 degree optics. This is the one that's going to give me the optimal spread. So the thing I want to do, I'm going to um, talk a little bit about this, is I wanted to achieve the most spread and a lot of um, penetration as well for the SPS. SPS needs a lot of concentrated light. And for spread to fill up the, uh, the whole aquarium with color, I needed to put the wider optics on this. Now on the purple, um, the lenses that Rapid LED have, they don't have any optics that will run with these. So the spread is going to be the regular spread of the full bare LED, which is a 100 degree spread. And that's really good because the way I wanted the purples is I wanted to give them a really good spread over the tank because I wanted the UV um, color to give a nice um, pop to all the corals in the tank. Now the other thing I wanted to um, tell you guys are the greens. I wanted to go ahead and put 80 degree optics on the greens. This way I can have a good spread of um, the green as well without it going all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. Sorry if the camera acts crazy. And I'm going to go ahead and place the optics on the green. The only reason I'm turning them on is to see the colors. As I don't have the diagram right now with me. And to place the optics is pretty easy. You just pop them onto LED. They have a square base. And you just pop them onto LED and they just uh, pretty much stay there. just like that this one doesn't want to cooperate but it's pretty easy I 
Let's try another one. There we go. Um, that one is placed. The greens now have optics on them. Um, you can also as well um, glue your optics on if you think that they're going to get loose or anything like that by using a little spot of super glue. Just in case you want to take it off, you can like break it off. I wouldn't usually use much. I would use super glue gel only because it does take longer and it doesn't run on you. Um, I would use a little dab of that onto the side of the optic just to hold it on. Uh, from one side only. Now on the blues and the whites, I wanted to achieve spread. So, um, I mean, sorry, spread and um, light penetration. So what I wanted to do is place different, all kinds of optics from 40, 65, and 80 degree optics on all of my blues and whites. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to choose exact um, locations of the 40 degree optics so on the white, I'm, I want to have penetration on four of them. So what I'm going to do is put 40 degree optics on four of the whites going horizontally. And I actually can choose the one that it's, that's going to be in the back because most of my corals are in the back. So I can put the 40 degree optics on the back row. And then I can use uh, the middle row for the 80 degree optics just so it will spread all over the tank from front to back. I can put those 80 degree optics on the middle row and then on the front row I can go ahead and put the 65 degree optics and then I'll have good spread of um, penetration and spread over my tank. I will do the same thing with the, white, the blue optics as well and this way I can ensure that everything is nice and um, the corals will get all the light they need. Um, of course you can always choose what you want to do with your tank. If you have a taller tank or a shallower tank, you can use different optics. But um, I will go ahead and do this right now and then I will test it on my main tank and see how it goes. And if I do need to do any changes, I will go ahead and do that. So I'll be cutting this video right now and I'll come back and um, after the setup has been done on the main tank and I'll show you how things are running. Okay, so I went ahead and placed all the lenses on the LEDs and I gotta tell you, it just, it's crazy. They get really hot when they're focused, especially on the 40 degree lenses. So you better be careful when you get splash guards or something like that. Um, you can get like some kind of really clear um, glass like a starfire glass because you don't want to dim down the lights or something like that using a regular glass because it does have green in it and the green eats up the color of it or you can go some really high temperature um, acrylic uh, I would highly recommend acrylic because it lets through more light than glass usually does and starfire glass doesn't come by easy so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and show you guys um, what it looks like it is pretty bright, crazy bright actually. And um, I can't wait to put it all on the tank and then show you guys how things go and the colors of the different things in the corals. Um, it is almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and place all, everything on the tank and then um, I'll be back and show you guys 